The cloud is a great way to keep all your photos, videos, and files at your fingertips. But have you ever wondered where your files are actually going? Who has access to your data? And by quickly accepting the privacy policies you didn't actually read, you may have actually allowed these big corporations to use and sell your data. And they're charging you a monthly fee to do it. Introducing AmberX, your own smart, secure, private cloud. I've been working with the folks at Latticework, the folks behind the Amber devices, uh, since about April of 2020. Since then, I've been continuing to communicate with them about the Amber Pro device, and I've actually had a little bit of a hand in helping shape the way the software would work and react and interact uh, with the device and with the way the, the user interacts with all of that together. Last week, I got a notification from UPS saying that I had a, a package being delivered from Latticework that I wasn't expecting. So I reached out to my contact over at Latticework and found out that they were sending me the new Amber X device. So the Amber X device is actually pretty cool in that it takes a lot of the same ideas as the Amber Pro device, but it simplifies it. You can think of the Amber X device as a, like a little brother, a little sister to the Amber Pro device. The aesthetic is almost identical, except that it is considerably shorter than the Amber Pro device is. The reason for that is they've kind of reduced the number of features in this device to make it simple, user-friendly, and very, very streamlined. I've had the Amber X for about a week now, and what I can say is that it just works. All you have to do is plug in an ethernet cable and a power cable, give it a second to power on, and then turn on the Bluetooth on your phone with the Amber iX application, and the Amber iX application will just find your device and give you the opportunity to set it up. The setup process was remarkably easy. Uh, it just took me a couple of minutes to get it up and running and having my phone back up automatically. And that was kind of the big thing for me is that uh, recently I was reading an article, in fact, it was just yesterday that I was reading an article uh, from Mashable that said, Google warns drive users, uh, use your files or lose them, uh, which is kind of scary because a lot of my files for years and years and years have been on Google's hardware, their servers, whether it was Google Photos or Google Drive or Google Docs, whatever the case may be, a lot of my life lives on Google. So if we scroll down and take a look at this article a little bit, it says they're introducing new policies for consumer accounts that are either inactive or over their storage limit across Google or Gmail, Google Drive, including D Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, Drawings, Forms, Jamboards, and or Photos to better align with the common practices across the industry. They continue on by saying, if you're inactive on one of or more of these services for two years, 24 months, Google may delete the contents in those products in which you're inactive. So if you've gone ahead and just set up your uh, phone to automatically back up to Google, uh, you may be okay uh, as long as you're using a Google, uh, an actual Google native device. That was one of the things uh, that they went on to say uh, that uh, down here, uh, the simplest way to keep your data active is to periodically visit Gmail, Google Photos, whatever, through an official application. And that should keep your files safe. The thing is, I can, I can only say that it'll keep it safe for now. So like I mentioned, getting the device set up was super easy. Really, it took me less than five minutes from the time I plugged it in until my photos were automatically backing up. What's great about the way the Amber devices are set up is that they actually have uh, a remote access protocol in place using a third party fully encrypted reverse proxy system. Uh, this means that you can access all of your data uh, from anywhere, whether you're on your home network, you're out and about at a Starbucks or you're out somewhere else, uh, your phone or your tablet or whatever can still connect remotely to your Amber device without having to set up any accounts, uh, any remote access accounts. You don't have to set up port forwarding. You don't have to do any of those things. Again, they use a reverse proxy with end-to-end -end encryption. So there's no chance, or I, I won't say no chance, there's very little chance of somebody being able to intercept your data and, and get access to your photos, your files, whatever the case may be, because of the security that they have in place. So the device comes with a 500 gig hard drive installed uh, by default, and you've got basically full access to all of that, minus a little uh, overhead for things like formatting and, and operating systems and things like that. Uh, so you're gonna get more than 450 gigs of storage out of the box. But if you ever come across a point where you've started to uh, run out of space there, 
uh, there's a USB port on the back where you can just plug in an additional hard drive and get that set up so you've got basically unlimited resources that you can plug into this device. Uh, one other neat little thing is, let's say you don't have an external hard drive right now, but maybe you've got uh, an SD card or something that you can uh, plug in. There's actually an SD card slot on the side where you can gain some more storage that way as well. In addition to uh, the application that you might install on your phone or your tablet, there's also a desktop application that we'll go ahead and take a look at now, uh, where it kind of gives a, a good amount of information here as far as what you can expect. Uh, you can remotely access uh, your files on Amber and Amber Cloud. Uh, there is a, a two gig Amber Cloud account that you get by default that if you wanted to use that, you could. Uh, you can uh, back up and sync your files to Amber. We've already kind of talked about that. Uh, we didn't talk about the fact that you can share uh, these uh, images and files and that sort of thing with people outside your home network. So if we look at next, there is some stuff about backing up your files here. Uh, easy sync. So if you've got uh, uh, multiple computers that you want to synchronize to, you could do that as well. Uh, when you install the Amber X or the Amber IX software, you'll also get this LW sync folder that it will create by default. Um, and that should be the folder that synchronizes across your desktops if you're logged into the same account on multiple places. Go to next again, again, right here, like we said, we can share files with anyone easily. And uh, you've got VP Home where uh, things are protected by a versioning system uh, and you can access or roll back to an existing or to an older file if you ever need to. So if we come in here and look, uh, this is actually showing all of the drives uh, that are currently showing up. I've got my CD, E and F drives, but then I've also got uh, some remote mounted drives in here as well. Um, my documents, that sort of thing. So if we look at my Amber, you can actually see up here, I've got two different devices. I've got the Amber X. Of course, that's the device we're talking about now. That's the the, the little one. And, and then also the Amber uh, Pro or the Amber Station, as I called it on my network here. Uh, there's a cloud folder here where I was just doing some testing. Uh, I don't even know if I've got, yeah, I've got some pictures in there uh, from uh, Halloween of last year. Uh, so we can go and pop that open and there we can see uh, see some photos that just, oh, they open right up, no issues whatsoever there. Um, here are some folders. We could, uh, you know, drag folders into here to share with different people if we wanted to do that. The other thing that we could do, again, here is uh, my, my or, this, or this PC where you can see all of those drives that we saw in the Amber X. Uh, if we actually come back over here and we do a double backslash to access on the network and then type in uh, my Amber X. Uh, here you can see uh, we've got four folders by default. The home folder is actually going to be the, the, the folder that's assigned to your account. Uh, anybody you set up for an account for will get their own unique home folder. However, there are some shared folders here as well for music, photos, and videos that anybody on the network can access. So if I try to open up this home, I've already logged into it once and that's why it made it so easy for me to go in there. Um, but I can go into like my devices. There's my cell phone. It automatically made a folder for my cell phone. So I can open that up and I can see, I don't know what's going on there, that's crazy. Um, but uh, we've got 2019, uh, everything is dated, uh, you know, month, day, and year. Uh, 2020 is gonna be the same thing there. Uh, so very a very intuitive interface as far as that's concerned. Uh, you can also go into my, my documents, my music, my photos, um, and all of that will be available on your network uh, just by going to backslash, backslash, and then whatever you named your device uh, when you did the, when you went through the whole setup process. And then there's uh, your home folder. And of course you'll have to use your credentials that you set up for your account to log into there. So they've made this a really intuitive uh, network attached storage device. And there is a mobile app for your phone right now. I've only tested it on Android. Uh, right now the, the Android app is really only good at uh, just backing up your data. Uh, and you can, you can play music or videos or whatever that are on your device. Um, but as far as uh, being granular about, you know, managing your media on your phone, that's still something they're working on. But uh, these devices aren't shipping until February or March, I believe. So there's still plenty of time to add in the functionality to make it a more robust uh, mobile applications. So I know that they are working on that. I've already, I've actually already talked to uh, some of their tech people, the owner, their media manager. I've talked to a lot of these people and they've assured me that they are working on making the mobile app way more robust. So the timing on me getting that Amber X device was actually pretty fortuitous. They recently did an Indiegogo fundraiser to get the first round of these devices out and they actually hit their goal in under an hour. 
Their goal was $10,000 and they managed to achieve that very, very quickly. Uh, in fact, if we look at this, they're actually at $43,000 for funds raised. Uh, in fact, they've only got two perks because uh, that's all they really needed. Uh, they've got uh, one, which is a uh, just purchasing one device for $119. That is a, a huge discount from uh, the $199 that these devices will be in the future when they actually fully launch to the commercial market. However, uh, if you use uh, my affiliate link in the description down below, you can still get this for $119. Also, I should know that that is an affiliate link. So if you do back this project using that link, uh, I will get a, a little bit of a commission from that sale. They also had a, a two pack, uh, but that sold out very, very quickly. Uh, they 50 of those were already claimed, and it looks like there's uh, fewer than 10 of the launch special for the single device currently available at this time. So like I mentioned, this is being currently funded on Indiegogo. Uh, they will be shipping these hopefully in February or March. Um, and again, they're 119 right now. If you get it on an Indiegogo, it'll be 199 when it actually goes uh, fully commercial, fully public, whatever whatever you want to call that. Uh, but what I can say is there's no monthly fees. Uh, you you just you buy the device and then you can access your media from basically anywhere by using the app on your phone. So I want to give a big shout out to the folks over at Latticework uh, for, for actually letting me uh, participate in, in, in this whole launch, uh, both uh, getting me a device super early, as well as being able to share with you guys and even having some influence on how certain things are handled in the software. Uh, big shout out to those guys for letting me part of that. It, it really has been a lot of fun for me to kind of be able to see behind the curtain as far as how these product launches go. Uh, again, if you want to pick up one of these devices and help support uh, their Indiegogo that is already fully funded, uh, you can actually uh, use the affiliate link in the description down below uh, and pick up one of these devices for yourself when they ship in February or March. Uh, definitely uh, think about picking one of these up. Use the affiliate link in the description down below. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up uh, right here. So as always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.